How and why do you go about verifying your Facebook business manager? So for any advertising agencies or anybody for that matter, advertising on Facebook, you must verify your business manager if you want to protect yourself against potential bans or even hacks in the future. That's right. Unfortunately, one of our clients at my agency last week had their personal Facebook profile hack, which was an admin of their business manager. And then therefore the person also accessed their business manager and it was super hard to get to recover this business manager because it was not verified. Everything becomes much easier once you verify the business manager and you are a lot less likely to be victim of bans or wrongful terminations. So watch this video for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your business manager verified this year. If you don't know who I am, my name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. We've worked with over 60 clients in the last three years and have spent over $10 million on ads. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first things first, I'm going to assume that you already have a Facebook business manager. If you do, you're going to head over to business.facebook.com forward slash settings. So that's the first place you're going to want to go to. So I'm going to repeat that one more time business.facebook.com forward slash settings. Once you're in there, you're going to want to head over to the left. You should see something similar to where I'm at right now. Business settings. You want to go to the left bar. You want to go to business info. This is where you're going to see business verification status. What does it say? If it's anything other than verified with a green check, well, you must follow the step in this video. Now, here's the catch. You're going to see one of two things. First thing you're going to see, you might actually have a clickable button where if you click on it, it's going to tell you start the verification process. Great. If you're one of the lucky ones that have that, you don't need this video. Just go ahead and complete the steps that it tells you to do. If you're like 99% of other people like myself and you don't have this option and it's actually a grayed out button right here that says can't verify or no need to verify or uh, verification doesn't apply to your business type. Watch this video. We want to enforce and make Facebook think that you need to verify yourself. Here's the catch. Sometimes Facebook will actually refrain or block you from getting verified initially because it's just going to assume that you are a low risk business type or that you don't, you know, really need uh, to follow these steps. But the thing in the catch is, although they assume that, they, you're still on their bad side. Like if anything happens to your ad accounts or to your business manager or whatnot, like they can't really help you now at this point. So they put you in a bad spot. To be quite honest, if you're asking me, I really don't know why they're not enforcing everybody to verify themselves, but hey, at least with this video, you'll get to learn how to do so. Okay. So how do you force the verification process? How do you force Facebook to actually ask you to verify yourself? What you're going to want to do is first and foremost, head over to this second website right here. So to say it aloud, the URL you need is developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. So APPS, so developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. You're going to come here and then create an app. Okay. You're going to have a prompt. that's going to tell you if you want to create an app and it's potentially going to ask you to even create a developer account in the first place. Follow these prompts, make your developer account. And then once you're ready, you should see a screen that is similar to this right now. Could be a little different. Facebook always changes their UI, by the way. So, hey, just keep in mind, as long as you find a button that says create app, do that. So what you're going to want to do is create an app. Why? I want to tell you first why, because a lot of people will ask, like, is this legit? Why, why am I doing that? Facebook has a developer's platform where you can actually create an app. That is, if you want to borrow the Facebook API or if you want to link your app, right? I have a game. I have something that I want to link to Facebook and I need to make that connection. You do that through that way. Okay. You do that through developers.facebook.com. Now, every developer that is developing an app of any sort on Facebook must be verified. That is a criteria that Facebook gives you. If you are a developer and you want to create an app on Facebook, you absolutely need to be verified. So with that being said, they will force you to verify yourself when doing so because Every developer, once again, needs to be verified. But here's a catch. You don't need to use this app. And an app is completely free. It doesn't cost you anything to create an app. It's in fact almost like creating a Facebook pixel, but it's dormant. It's not even being used. So make sure you're, first of all, logged in with the right Facebook account when you're on developers.facebook.com and make sure that this Facebook account is the admin account of your business manager. You're going to come right here and you're going to create an app. So really doesn't matter what app you create. So as an example, I can click allow people to log in with their Facebook account. 
I go next and I pick a random app name. I pick my email address and business account. This is where it's super important. You need to be clicking on your business manager right here. You need to click on this and then select your business manager. The most important part, because this is where you're going to tell Facebook, Hey, this is my profile. This is my business manager. This is my app. Link it to all of these. And then once you've selected that, you're going to click create app. Once it's done, basically you don't have to do anything. You're going to have to come back in about 48 hours. And then if you go back to business.facebook.com forward slash settings, you're actually going to get to see a button appear right here. You should now have a button that it is opened up right now and tells you start verification. And then you're going to follow the prompt and then actually get your business verified. Super important once again to follow these steps. Now, when asking for verification documents, Facebook is very picky. You're going to have to send them proof of incorporation, proof that you are who you say you are. And in my experience, it took me three tries to actually get Facebook to accept me. What the first time they rejected my application for a verified business manager, they said I did not have the right document. I submitted it a second time. They said the same thing. I submitted even more evidence as a third try. And finally, they accepted me. So don't give up if they don't accept you the first try, but get your business manager verified this way. And I'm telling you, this is exactly how I did it in 2021. I did it again last week with some clients and I'm telling you, it still works again. There are thousands of services out there and people selling you for 500 bucks, a thousand bucks, verified business managers. You don't necessarily need those if you can actually get your business verified yourself through this way. That is unless you actually got banned in the past. And if you did have a business manager that was banned and associated with your business account, if you're trying to make a new business manager under the same name and with the same documents and proof, it will get banned. So be mindful of that. And I want to make the big disclaimer that I cannot help you get a business manager back. I cannot help you get something on Ben. I don't know anybody who can actually help you do the same thing. Every time I post a video about that, I get flooded with DMS or comments telling you, Hey, Justin, can you help me get my account back or whatever? I can't. So I don't, I, I don't have any more capabilities as you do as a viewer, but I can tell you here from my experience, this is a trick that has worked more than once and still works to this day to get your business manager verified and alleviate the amount of bans you get with your Facebook accounts. So I hope this helps you out. On that note, make sure you check out other videos of the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. There's going to be two links in the description down below. One free to join our free school community with a full paid advertising course and e-commerce basics just for you again, completely for free. And second thing is if you are an e-commerce brand owner watching this video, you want to work with an agency for the content side. So UGC motion graphics and such and the ad side apply to work at paidadvertising.com. We'd love to have you part of our partner team. And on that note, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.